Today, the 2006 Keep American High bill was passed by <laughs> President Tree. Millions of users, advocates, and dealers rejoice with this momentous occasion. Not many disagree with the importance of the bill, but surprisingly few in America's heartland advocated for it. This bill has been a long time in coming. Senator Spectator reportedly thought of the proposal after an international visit to Colombia. Some suspected the tremendous financial support of the Colombian FARC party had a major role in seeing this bill passed into law. The bill has never received support from the Democratic Party, but as Senator Spectator said, who needs them anyway? But today, their hard work has paid off and this bill has been passed. As President Tree signed the bill into law in the Oval Office, he said that the Keep American High bill will improve the lives of Americans everywhere. At 100,000 Voices News, we interviewed people affected by this bill. First, let's talk to a businessman about the bill. Meet Mr. Unnamed Drug Dealer for Manhattan. So, uh, yeah, this new bill. It's quite good. It's for us. Um, it's like the new capital, uh, capitalism, right? So now I don't only have to sell one thing. I, I can expand into everything else. Go from weed to maybe expand into opiates. Go hey, who knows what I'm going to get to in this place, this new crazy world. I guess that doesn't matter anymore with this new bill. It's all legal. As we all know, drugs and music have always gone hand in hand. Let's see how this relationship was affected by the bill. Hey, I think this bill is really, really cool. I mean, drugs, music, you know, it's been going together forever. Think about it. Uh, drugs are an important part of music. James Joplin, uh, Jimi Hendrix, look, jazz, Charlie Parker, Kurt Cobain. I mean, it's inspired us. It's made us great. You know, I, I can play some great music. You should hear me on my Wii. I'm like really, really good. You know, here, here, listen to me. I'm like, this is my Keep America High anthem. Now let's see how this bill affects the political scene. We need to eliminate radical rabble. In order to ensure our economic survival, we don't need a bunch of people out there, workers, communists, sort of lobbying for their, their rights, their economic rights. So we need to get them high and pliable. It's part of our fundamental freedoms to be high, to get high, without the encumbrance of government. We That's all for tonight's show. Stay indoors and out of trouble. Good night and good drugs to you all.